Aloha! And his opponent, the company to the ring by his manager, Damian Anderson, weighing in at 236 pounds from Mexico City, Mexico, El Diablo! Welcome back to another week of Wrestling Fever fans. This is your ringside commentator, Dave Yearwood. And today we're bringing you some more great matches. And entering the ring right now, you're seeing El Diablo, the masked man from Mexico City, Mexico, being walked and escorted by the manager, Damian Anderson. El Diablo facing today the Mohawk. And fans, I am still in shock over the events that transpired last week. What you saw last week on Wrestling Fever, I, I still have not gotten over that. First of all, what you saw happened to Diamond Dan, uh, that vicious and brutal attack outside the ring there before the team of Fire and Ice, the number one seeds in the tag team tournament before they even got to enter the ring. Diamond Dan was viciously attacked on the outside by one of these masked men, the likes of El Diablo. Who knows who it was? The Lone Ranger, who knows? Blasting him outside the ring with the chair, almost crippling him to the point where he did have to leave the arena, go back to the dressing room before he gamely made his way back into the ring. But the damage had already been done and the team of Fire and Ice was eliminated. But it, that, the story just gets started there when we saw what transpired in the finals of the tag team tournament. And that was none other than the arrival to the PWI of international playboy Johnny Lee. And fans, for those of you that don't know much about Johnny Lee, there's a lot to be known and a lot we just as soon not have learned here in the PWI. But when he has made his entrance, you know he's going to be involved at the top of what's going on and on the side we care not to see. Right here now, though, El Diablo going right in immediately, working the chops across the chest of the Mohawk. Setting him up off the ropes, elbow smash, taking the Mohawk down. El Diablo nonchalantly, well, doesn't even try to cover him for a two count here. This man loves to dish out punishment. Under the tradition of these masked men here in the PWI, this is one hombre that just loves to serve out punishment. And right there you see another manager, one of the managers here in the PWI, Damian Anderson. You've seen him with the snake man. This is another one of those men that likes to get in the way, interfere and uh, add a little bit over the ropes, under the ropes, passing things through the ropes. Damian Anderson likes we do not need here in the PWI. But I'm still shocked and astonished by the arrival of Johnny Lee coming in here. And fans, if you missed it, you really missed an event last week. Johnny Lee came in and bought the rights to the tag team final match. And not only that, he didn't just buy the rights to the, the ninjas, he bought a right to replace the ninjas, and he brought in the team he's calling Western Justice. We know him as the Lone Ranger, Austin James, whomever, and Dallas James, the man who said he didn't want to be involved in tag team wrestling here in the PWI. Western Justice, the James Brothers, under the leadership of Johnny Lee, took on the good old boys, Big Rick Rollins and Cousin Bubba, in the final and won. They are your new PWI Tag Team Champions, Western Justice. Let's get back here in this action here. The Mohawk going at it now. Returning some favors here. Digging in on the knee of Di El Diablo, the devil from Mexico City. 
And the fans on the outside giving the war cry for the Mohawk here. Working the knee, working it, bending it back here. Pushing against that joint. Wish we could see the pain on the face a little more clearly of El Diablo right now. The bad man from Mexico City, Mexico. And managed on the outside by Damian Anderson. Showing you he can wrestle with the best of them though. Quick suplex flip over the back. Taking the elbow into the forehead of the Mohawk. Trying to strip away a little more hair from the head of the Indian here. El Diablo grabbing him, taking him up. Outside the ring goes on a hard floor here in the arena. And Damian Anderson, a couple boots to the side of the Mohawk. Look at him, ref, he's giving up. El Diablo moving to the outside here. El Diablo, Damian Anderson, both on the side here. Referee, referee needs to get on the outside and break the action up here. Well, now the Mohawks back in. El Diablo, of course, Damian has got got the referee distracted here in the corner. Oh, the, did you, the fire. El Diablo, fire from the trunks of El Diablo into the face of the Mohawk. Puts him down right away, a quick three count. Referee totally, totally oblivious to what has transpired here. The flames throwing from the hands of El Diablo. The magic and mystic of the man from Mexico City. A victory here, an unpopular victory by El Diablo.